As Hurricane Ian progresses, families are evacuating their homes, many coming to Alabama for shelter. ABC 3340's Kyra Purvis caught up with some evacuees in Hoover today. And Kyra, how are those families coping tonight? Muriel, I'm here at the Hoover Met where hurricane evacuees get the option to stay for free. I spoke with one man who says he's just grateful him and his family are safe. Well, we're safe, you know, and that, that's the important thing. Russ Baird has been living in his Florida home for more than 11 years. He says his decision to evacuate was the right one. It's, it's, it's hitting now. I'm in constant contact with people who are still back there and it's hitting our area very hard now. We're in the Bonita Springs, Naples area and Naples and that area is really flooding badly and we're getting a lot of wind damage right now as we speak. He says his home has lost all power. He does not know when he or his family will be able to return. We were hopeful to be able to head home on Friday, but we don't know what the situation is going to be there. We really can't go back until we, until we have electricity. Alabama Power plans to step in to help people like Russ get the electricity they need. Right now, that looks like um, 400 Alabama Power employees and 300 contractors going to support that effort. And the Red Cross will also be stepping in to help those impacted by the storms. 